Hello everyone, and it's Dr. Ginger Bratzel with you again, and I'm going to share six ways to increase new patient conversions instantly. Um, these are easy methods to implement in your office to get, like I said, instant results. Um, you just need to put them forth. Um, some of these you might be aware of, some of these you might need to be reminded of, and some of these might be new to you in a new way. And we're going to break it up into six easy segments. And so, um, Today we're going to concentrate on just one thing, but for the whole series I am going to make you three big promises. First of all, anyone can implement this. This is supposed to be brain dead easy because if it's not easy, you won't do it. Um, I'm not going to ask you to make a big investment in equipment or new technologies, um, but you're going to get a big impact off of, off of it. And, of course, the most important thing to get this implemented is, is something you can delegate to someone else and it doesn't directly involve the doctor. You can turn this over to a key staff person and they will take care of this and that is their job. So um, let's get going and talk about the first point. Like I said, there's going to be six short ones. I feel the number one skill that's lacking in most offices, most businesses, anywhere is basic phone skills. Now you might be rolling your eyes and please do not do that and don't turn me off. Listen to me. Listen, 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 listen. Phone skills are so important and even if you've done phone skill training this is time to rehash and retune and, and, and rehearse phone skills um, I call and audit offices all the time I call businesses and audit them all the time and I keep seeing and well, I should say hearing overall the same things over and over and over um, you know recorded messages are bad um, going through that first of all it depersonalizes your office we are in the people person and the people business and we need to make it very personal for these people um, the other issue is if we get a person they are rushed the first thing is the first thing is the tone the cadence the patience the way they answer the phone Good morning. Welcome to Sunnyside Smile Center. Good morning. Welcome to Sunshine Cosmetic Center. There's a lot of syllables in there. The staff is trying to efficiently answer the phones, but they are blurring all that together, making that person feel like they have just called their best friend in the world. That relationship building starts with there. So very good tone. And can I help you is not the answer. I'm here to help or I can help you. That is a positive affirmation. Once they say that, they need to back it up though. That's very important. And so this sets the tone. If you can blow people out of the water on the phone, and even if it's existing patients who are coming for uh, a follow-up appointment or for other services, and they, you still have the opportunity to blow them away and, and really make them feel important. And of course it's very personal. Um, they want to know who they're talking to. They don't want to know that this guy's on the other side of the phone. Um, alrighty, uh, cuz, no problem, interrupting patients when, or prospects when they're on the phone, they're calling about a billing question, um, they got a bill from an insurance company that may or may not cover part of the services, and usually it's not. How you handle that is very important. They need to have slow call tone, um, give them a chance to catch up. People who speak slower need people to speak to them slower and it's not mimicking them it's matching patterns and tonality and that's something we will go through in detail with our clients but the whole purpose of the phone is to get the appointment it was a new prospect and they're calling us looky-loo how to convert them on the phone and basically is making that relationship and setting that tone Scripting for success. Even if you have a script in place, I guarantee it's not being used 100% of the time. Anyone answering the phone, and I see this all the time too, um, the front office person might have the script. They, they might be off uh, doing a consultation, arranging financial arrangements. They might be on the other line, and a clinical person in the back answers the phone. Very nice, well-trained person, but they're not scripted for success. They should know the script. Everyone should know the script that might touch that phone and also have a script available because sometimes we need it as a, a, a backup. Phone calls should be um, relationship building, but they should be short and sweet. It's n This is not a long dating experience. This is not a big relationship building where we've got to spend the next hour building that relationship. They need to be directed, and you always have to be control of the 
the phone call. If the staff person is just answering questions, even though they're politely, I call it verbal volleyball, you know, the patient serves it over, they ask a question, how much does this cost? The staff goes, well, it depends. The patient goes back. The staff never has control of that call. So the patient has the control, and very quietly and politely and very affirmatively, that gets switched with proper scripting. Um, also, it's your opportunity to transfer these people calling up for information and looky loose into new patients if you know your stuff. And the most, most, most important thing, it, I believe, is it sets the tone for what's next. If they know you have your I's dotted and your T's crossed on the phone, they're going to expect that when they come into the office, and that's what's going to blow them away. So that's a little introduction about phone skills, and we'll talk about another um, method that you can use in your office for another area to look at to instantly increase results. So go back, review your phone skills. Um, if you'd like more information on what kind of things we can help you guys with for phone skills, please email us at our contact information, and we'll look forward to telling you more. Thanks, and have a great day.